Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Capricorn for the month of November. Um, keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with each and every one of you. I put out new messages each week. Um, this one is the first series for November. So, um, that being said, let's begin. The situation here, um, for whoever this is for, is the Six of Swords, the Page of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Card of Change. I feel whoever I'm speaking to, um, someone has come back from your past. Okay, this I feel has happened. Um, wanting to bring change to the situation or coming back saying that they have changed. And you are wondering um, if you can actually move this from the choppy waters that it was to a more peaceful place. If you would be able to work through the issues, if you would be able to have um, a solid loving relationship here with this person. You're still carrying all of these swords on your back. I feel that you are the one who brought in the tower. That you are the one that walked away because you were not trusting. Or it could also be that you're not trusting that this person has changed. Um, but I feel that you, of course, you did release them for sure. You are the one who brought about this ending, very determined to put this challenging energy behind you. I feel that this was a decision. Um, it really pulled at you in the past. This was a really hard decision for you to make to leave this person because you didn't leave them because you no longer loved them. You left because the relationship was toxic, was unhealthy. There was most likely a lot of, um, a lot of arguments, a lot of fights, um, that war on you. Um, they, you could have been with someone who is very headstrong, very stubborn, very controlling, somebody who uh, was uh, always, they were always right and you were always wrong. The, um, this situation is what is still, it is still very heavy on your heart and your mind. It haunts you. And now this person is back saying that they've changed or, or they will change or whatever story they are giving you. As much as there are bad memories, there are good memories. These are the ones that tug at your heart and maybe... Um, it's, they're what make this difficult. You're grieving over this loss um, of this relationship. Um, you do have a lot of regrets, but we do see this reunion is present here also. So you're being given uh, a new opportunity comes in on a relationship that was unhealthy in the past. That you walked away from. This was a decision that um, you thought about for quite some time before you actually took it. Because you did not want to go. You felt you had to go. There's a difference here. I feel that you missed this person. You were still holding on to it. Even though you walked away from it, you still carried it with you. Very, 
deep emotions uh, emotions have resurfaced with the return of this night. Yep, so you see here, they come in wanting uh, another chance, making another offer, even um, may have come in with an apology. Promising change, and you see it here, that they come in wanting this second chance, telling you everything that you want to hear, because let's remember, these are nights, and their words and their actions now um, really touch you somewhere. But we, you know, we do have the devil here, so it's like they they're they may know how to work you very well. But their return and whatever it is they're telling you stirs the emotions in you because those that love that you had for that person that's still there that that never left you know yeah they were they could have been somebody very controlling in the home um but the you have the page in reverse now. See, he comes in here in the upright, and over here he's in the reverse. So it's like um, incons very inconsistent. Um, that page can go from from one relationship to another. Um, so they come in. Um, but you guys are still, you're not on the same floor, but um, you, you're you still um, at odds. This is a warning that the tower is coming. And you're, uh, it throws you out of balance, this return or this offer, whatever it is they're telling you. You're not feeling grounded. Um, <clears throat> you're struggling. You're struggling with this decision. Um, and I feel that you're walking away from a new beginning. But this is what it looks like. Because we have the Empress here. We have the struggle here. Um, possibly um, an argument with this person uh, that kind of, you know, um, turns sour um, and you walk away throwing the rose at their feet still dragging the memories with you the heartbreak you still haven't healed from what happened back here and you know it, it makes this very very difficult and you fear that there would be more heartbreak which is why you're walking away. You got the Three of Swords twice here. This one, you walk away. This one, it's like um, three swords that, that search for their victim. They have not yet struck. And um, you don't want to be that victim. There's, uh, with this card of imprisonment, it's like... Um, feeling resigned to one's fate. Very emotional, both the feet are in water. Emotions here in the Watchtower of the West um, are coming to the surface. This is happening in the period of fall. Um, and, you know, we're in that, oops, excuse me, I hit the mic. Um, we are there now. So this is happening to someone now. Um, yeah, passion, fire is here. Um, so that's confirming the return here. Tarot, 
uh, tarot cards. They speak to how you've been so distracted, okay? You've been very distracted lately with all of this. Important messages and signs may pass you by. Um, you are being given messages, you are being given signs, and you're not seeing them. Um, pay attention. Take off the blindfold. Trust in your psychic abilities. What is your gut telling you? Everything has its season, and this is the deep freeze. It's like um, slowing down and, and putting a freeze on things that are not yet ready to bloom, or maybe you don't know that they will, you know. Um, and I feel that this is what you were doing. Solitude is called for reflection, going within, you have the card of um, making a choice. You're faced with a dilemma, a fork in the road, which we see in the reading. And you must make um, a conscious choice um, regarding the next right decision. Whatever this choice is, you must take responsibility for it. Do not be afraid. You may not have all the answers right now because the way ahead cannot be seen until you've embarked and traveled a few steps upon it. Trust your intuition. Ask for a sign from spirit and you will be led to the right path. But I feel that they have been giving you signs. I feel that although you were tempted by the offer because you did love this person after all and most likely still do, I feel that you do are you do see the signs here. It is why you walk away. This is incoming news. Something um, it's sitting here, so it must pertain to what's happening here in the future. Um, the answer to a question that you have. And I feel that you get that. I feel that that has to do with this decision that you will be making. I feel that you will decide it is not the right path for you to give this another chance that it will only bring you those three swords and you refuse to be its victim. Many blessings. Thank you for watching, um, for sharing, for subscribing. Um, also, thank you to everyone who has donated. It is greatly appreciated. I wish you all the best.